Okay. Good evening and welcome to SIT chat. My name is Sagar Maudgal and today I am replacing as a proxy only, not a full replacement of uh, Mr. Dinukar, who is the thinker doer of SIT chat. And uh, with pride, I can say that he is one of my mentors. And anything good that you see in me is uh, credits to Dinukar and anything that you don't see good in me is only credits to me. Okay, now uh, let me just give you a little brief of what SIT chat is. And before that, what do I do and what does Dinakar do? Dinakar is the founder of uh, a firm called as Samuthana Consult and Coaching. He helps organizations grow. He creates world-class companies and exceptional leaders. That's what he does. And before doing that, Dinakar has been uh, working with Bosch, a world-class manufacturing facility, and he is served across the globe. He spent more than two and a half decades with uh, Bosch before uh, he jumped on to become a uh, consultant coach, making a world-class organization outside Bosch. Now, coming to today's presenter, that is me, Sagar Maudgal. I am a mechanical engineer by qualification after uh, wandering in few of the MNCs and engineering organizations in techno-commercial jobs. I decided to hop on to becoming an entrepreneur on my own. Today, I run two uh, firms of mine, small uh, startups firms of mine. I am into ecological sustainable architecture. I make uh, beautiful spaces, sustainable living and happy to stay, work, play. That's what I do. In simple language, we have an architectural design firm called as Creatrix Design Studio. Architect Supriya, who is also an SIT member, is the co-founder of uh, Creatrix Design Studio and architectural design firm. Along with that, I have got another uh, consulting firm called as Potent to Set, which is into management consulting and recruitment for manufacturing firms only. With that, let me brief you what SIT is. SIT is basically startup ignition uh, team. And what do we do here is we try to bring in ecosystems for manufacturing, I'm sorry, startups. Anything that is in startup, anything that has to happen in startup, we want to be that one stop shop for startup world in India. That is what we are. And one crux of uh, what SIT is, it is inherently a philosophy of give first and optionally receive next. That is what we are. In that same uh, philosophy, Dinakar's brainchild is this SIT chat. Now, what do we do in SIT chat is we call upon experts like we have today, Shweta. Shweta Jha from Patna, now in Banaras. Okay, like that, we've got various experts, but let me give you a disclaimer. The experts are providing their opinion on their subject. However, you are advised to please have discretion and your own due diligence before you take services of the speaker. Now, in that thing, we, what we have been doing is we've been calling uh, experts and we've been discussing various topics that you can see on your screen. And in that juncture, today we have got Madam Shweta Jha. Now, what is uh, Shweta Jha? I mean, I uh, went on reading her CV. Reading her CV, by the time I came to the end, I forgot what was the beginning because it's not lamba chauda hai. She has done bachelor's in zoology with specialization in something uh, of the similar one, master's in zoology. Then she went on to do bachelor's in education, master's in education, and now she is doing uh, her uh, PhD in education. And she has got a lot of certification in CT, CTET, I mean, ABCD is hai. Okay, she will be talking more about that. Vaise to, I had just told Shweta just before entering. Vaise to, teacher se hamara hamesha patta tha. Aaj teachers ko kaise pada hai? Vaise teacher yahan pe hai. To hamara patne wala hai. Anyways, let's get on to understand what exactly she has to share with us. Today, she is here to share with us about digital mentoring, uh, monitoring, mentoring, and pedagogy. Okay, I'm sure this is an interesting topic over here. And uh, Shweta, over to you. You can uh, also share your screen. I will stop sharing my screen, Shweta. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, good evening to all the great uh, business leaders over here. Uh, 
I'm going to talk about, I know it's very difficult to take time with the teachers and uh, listen to the teachers. But I know you are not in the group of students. You are in the group of business leaders who are having their own broadened mind. So I think you will accept my ideas regarding that. And uh, I'll try my best not to bore you here for next 20 minutes. Yeah, before Shweta joins, the naughty boy of uh, Don Bosco partner, Mr. Rohit, you are uh, not supposed to trouble the teacher. I know you're very close to the teacher there, but do not trouble. And uh, she's from the same college where Rohit was. No, yeah. same school. Same school, school, school. Acha, school se tang kar rahe ho, theek hai. Nahi, nahi, nahi. Aisa kuch nahi hai. Go ahead, Shweta. All yours. Okay, so Thank you so much. You are able to share, Shweta? Yeah. Is the screen visible to you? Not yes. yet. No, no, nothing has come up. Not yet. Now it's coming. So basically, I had presented my this paper in uh, NCRT Ajmer, Regional Institute of Education, Ajmer. And uh, there, uh, I did a small research. After COVID, it was the time of digitization of everything. So the theme was safe use of internet, gadgets, and media. And sub-theme was uh, digital monitoring and mentoring for children. Now, what does this monitoring mean for? Monitoring, uh, it means for... I'm going slides. Monitoring is uh, required for the parents. What the kids are handling from the age of one year, two year, up to the age of teenage or adolescent, where they are not having the capability to, to differentiate between what is right and what is wrong for their future or for the present perspectives. So, and that enlightened me that I should do the research because uh, in my master's level also, I had done the dissertation on the impact of playing PUBG on the academic achievement of these students. So at that time, uh, when I was a teacher, right now I am myself a student as well as a teacher. So I was invigilating in standard five and the lower group of students were not familiar to me. So on the admit card of Don Bosco, same Don Bosco from where Mr. Rohit has studied, on the admit card, only PU, BG, PU, BG was written. And I was not aware, what is this PU, BG? I thought that this kid has brought something, some new codes for the uh, cheating purpose. <laughs> so I, and it was fallen on the ground. I took that admit card and I just asked, from another good student whom I thought that he's a good student, I should ask, is it a code uh, for any subject uh, in which you are cheating? So they said, mommy, don't know. It's a game. It's a gadget game, a mobile game. And uh, how these companies are very smart in spite of, because Tencent company, they purchased only 3% of the shares of PUBG game. And they made it available on the mobile platforms. And once this game was available on the mobile platforms, the rate of playing this game was very much up at the hike. And this India was the biggest consumer of this particular game. So I thought I should do the dissertation on this particular topic. So I went into my class and uh, during the moral science period, I had too much of morals. So every time my principal used to give me two moral science periods in a week. So I just written on the board PUBG and for on against. And you will be surprised that standard nine or 10 students, only four or five students were against of this game and rest of the 66 or 56 students were again uh, for this game. And they made me to enlist what are the benefits of playing this game and what are the disadvantages of playing this game. So I developed the questionnaire for this with the help of the students only. And there was no relationship between the academic achievement and playing PUBG. 
the students attendance were also getting short because they were playing throughout night this game and in the morning they didn't come to school this was the scenario so through all this i did another study that is an uh, exploratory study on digital consumer kids and their parents in context of digital monitoring and digital mentoring so whenever i was sitting for parent teachers meeting most of the parents were only suggesting ma'am do something by which i can keep my kids away from these gadgets uh, digital monitoring uh, means by parents it is a technique by which they have an assist or looking after a digital consumer kid in the present scenario kids are digital consumer and how to monitor their activities over the screen and various digital platforms now what is digital mentoring it is an emerging branch of pedagogy pedagogy is the art and science of teaching in which a teacher or a parent mentors a digital consumer kid to dis uh, and aims to digitally and uh, improve the learner's progress metacognition organization self regulation motivation and social skills so these two terms must be clear to you now being a teacher i must ask have you understood what is monitoring and mentoring now so the idea of this objective of this study was to explore the perception and awareness of parents in context of digital monitoring and mentoring to know their opinion about government's role in this field and to analyze the challenges and issues faced by digital consumer kids parents to explore the awareness regarding the safety measures of digital consumer kids parents in context of online child sexual uh, exploitation and to know the opinion of digital consumer kids parents about government's role in the context of online child sexual abuse uh universe of this uh, particular uh, research work was the parents of present generation digital consumer kids population was the parents of present generation digital, uh, digital consumer kids of varanasi and sampling technique which i used was purposive sampling purposive sampling it means i went to those parents only whose kids uh, were studying in different levels at the school and five faculty members of bhu i selected whose kids were playing uh, whose kids were using mobile and the students are studying in the standard standard 9 and 10 design was a phenomenological approach and tool was semi structured interview questionnaire was there so data collection was done through the in depth telephonic uh, interview because covid was just gone so everyone was not giving permission to have the direct interview so through that i had done the data collection interview questions for parents were these uh, interview questions for parents like uh, name of the respondents were there age group so all of the respondents kids were studying in standard 9 to 10th and falls in the category of teen age group that is 13 to 19 and uh, when your child asked to have their social media account so from the responses collected the inference was present generation parents are on facebook kids are on the instagram now parents are shifting towards instagram kids are uh, shifting towards snapchat so our kids are one step ahead of us whether in terms of teachers or with the with their parents a uh, question was another question was can they tell tell me about the time or in hours your kids stays online and if on online then during day evening light or uh, night or uh, late night inference was like most of the kids were using their social media account and the other web browsing apps in the evening and especially after the noon after the school then another question was have you observed or felt any time that they are becoming secretive it means they are keeping something secret they are trying to hide their mobile or they are not sharing they have kept the privacy lock over there then inference from all such responses shows that in a few cases the kids are becoming secretive regarding their 
mobile use so here also uh, such response was there another question was are they uh, not allowing you to see their mobile screen uh inference showed that during the covid times the digital consumer kids were hesitating to show their mobile screen because basically during the covid time maximum hours they were spending on these particular things do they ignore your uh, your necessary important conversation with them if yes then please about that incident so when the parents are talking with their kids some of the kids are patiently hearing and some of the kids are just ignoring they are over there physically present but not mentally present over there so when digital consumer gets were getting a scolding from their parents regarding digital use they show the ignorant behavior towards their parents then do you uh, about offenders watch app different types of app are available but there is no awareness program for the parents and for the teachers as well as for the kids you cannot play only the play uh, uh, blame game with the kids that uh, they are responsible we as a parent we as a teacher are responsible for whatever things are happening because as a teacher also we don't have time and as a parent also we don't have time for our kids we have the time for our mobile our own social media platforms we want to update ourselves so our kids are also updating their, themselves so we can't blame our kids totally we as a teacher or as a parent we are responsible for that so none of the parent know about this digital safety apps available for kids no awareness is there whether in case because my uh, the population of my study are the professors of bhu and they themselves are not aware of it when you had the last access to their accounts so inference shows that most of the parents are not aware of their kids social media account so if they are having their account their accounts is with the uh, different names like kitty jen and all whatever and uh, their friend circle is only knowing about their social media account family members are not aware of their social media account and they don't keep it them also they keep their parents blocked through the responses which i had collected so which type of personal information your ward is sharing on these accounts so parents suggested that they are a few parent are only aware of what is shared by their kids on the different online but most of the parents like uh, one respondent had he is on whatsapp or koi fix फिक्सेशन वाला कैरेक्टर को यूज करता है और फ्रेंच में स्टेटस व्हाट्सएप का जो स्टेटस होता है वो फ्रेंच में लिखता है ताकि पेरेंट्स समझ ना सके डू यू हैव द एसेस टू सी योर वर्ड्स फ्रेंड्स फॉलोअर्स लिस्ट ऑन डिफरेंट सोशल मीडिया अकाउंट सो इन फ्रेंड्स वॉज मोस्ट ऑफ द पेरेंट्स आर नॉट अवेयर ऑफ देयर किड्स सोशल मीडिया अकाउंट एंड दे आर नॉट इन देयर फ्रेंड लिस्ट बिकॉज दे कीप दम ब्लॉक because with me also i am being a teacher so when you a uh, family member is a teacher my niece my sister's daughter she has kept me block my brother <laughs> in my brother's profile she is visible but she is not visible on my profile kyunki usne snapchat ka ek photo apne whatsapp ke dp mein lagaya tha to jab maine pucha ki beta ye डॉगी जैसा स्टाइल में क्यों लगाया फोटो को जो कान बन जाते हैं और ऐसे जीव निकल जाते हैं तो कहती है वासी अब छोड़ो ना ये ऐसे ही सब फोटो लगाते हैं बस उस दिन के बाद से मैंने उसका फेसबुक अकाउंट पे नहीं देखा कहीं उस दिन तक थी यानी कि उसने मुझे ब्लॉक कर दिया तो फैमिली मेंबर्स को वो लोग पहले ब्लॉक करते हैं जब अपना फेसबुक अकाउंट या कोई भी अकाउंट वो लोग क्रिएट करते हैं तो आपकी सोच जहाँ खत्म होती है हमारे बच्चों की सोच वहां से शुरू होती है तो आप पहले ही ब्लॉकड है तो आपको उनका कुछ भी एक्टिविटी आप देख नहीं सकेंगे इज देर एनी स्ट्रेंजर इन दर फ्रेंड लिस्ट विल यू प्लीज एक्सप्लेन हिस्स फीचर देन एज मोस्ट ऑफ द पेरेंट्स आर नॉट अवेयर दे आर नॉट इन देर फ्रेंड लिस्ट सो हाउ दे विल बी एबल टू नोटिस दैट इज एनी स्ट्रेंजर इज अप्रोचिंग थ्रू डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म्स 
सो देर फोर इट इज हार्ड टू डू दिस अप्रोच ऑफ डिजिटल मॉनिटरिंग तो ऐसी स्थिति में मॉनिटरिंग कैसे हो सकती है अब ये सवाल आप सभी बिजनेस लीडर्स को जाता है डू यू नो हाउ टू डू द प्राइवेसी सेटिंग ऑन द डिफरेंट सोशल मीडिया अकाउंट सो मैक्सिम ऑफ ऑफ द पेरेंट्स आर अवेयर ऑफ द प्राइवेसी सेटिंग्स ऑन द डिफरेंट सोशल मीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म बट दे आर अनएबल टू डू दिस फॉर देयर किड्स बिकॉज दे आर नॉट अवेयर वेदर देयर वर्ड्स आर हैविंग देयर अकाउंट्स और नॉट क्योंकि आप जब पहले ही ब्लॉक्ड हैं तो आपको ये पता ही नहीं चलेगा कि आपके बच्चे कौन से प्लेटफॉर्म पर एक्टिव हैं तो आप प्राइवेसी सेटिंग जान करके भी क्या कर लेंगे अनदर क्वेश्चन वॉज हैव यू आज योर आई एस पी फॉर सेफ्टी मेजर्स दे ऑफर एंड मैंशनिंग द सिचुएशन इन विच यू थॉट इट इज रिक्वायर्ड सो वेरी फ्यू पेरेंट्स आर अवेयर ऑफ आई एस पी एंड इट सेफ्टी मेजर्स इतनी अवेयरनेस कॉमन पेरेंट्स को तो है ही नहीं कैन यू डिस्कस अबाउट द प्रोफाइल पिक्चर ऑफ योर अवॉर्ड सो प्रोफाइल पिक्चर्स बेसिकली दे यूज कार्टून और फिक्शस कैरेक्टर does your ward frequently publish their personal information on the respective social media accounts so in most of the cases the personal information is not shared and shared then its exact location and data are not shared but aisa hota nahi hai which type of images they share maximum with the parents but when they are unaware they are not able to notice what what they have shared which type of text or messages they are sharing only a few parents are aware so they are only able to understand which type of text they are sharing on the such platforms have they shared any incident where you were in received any offensive or upsetting picture or message none of the kids have recorded because i have taken the triangulation i have done the triangulation i have not only had a word with the parents i also had a word with those kids whose parents i had a word in the earlier time so first i had a word with their uh, interview with their parents and then i shifted my interview towards the kids so this inference is based on triangulation of all those responses have they went to meet any any one friends in real life when and why a uh, real life sorry it's not real none of the parents reported that there were uh, went to the uh, meet any such friend who were came in contact through online mode do you know about online scams the parents are aware of the online scams do you know about ceop none of the parents were aware of ceop have you noticed any suspect who is stalking or harassing your ward one of the three responses i have quoted over here no but my ward has discovered a uh, discussed a few incident of their friend circle third respondent so no technically mai thoda backward hu to mai kaise bata sakta hu ek respondent ne kaha don't have any idea about it regarding my son but it happened with my daughter once so such incidents of stalking and harassing are not openly shared by the kids to their parents they keep it with, with them so this is also one of the type of stress which is being generated so our kids is more stressed than our generation when we were kids we had only academic stress but our kids are facing the digital stress the academic stress the food and hunger stress because mothers are not preparing such food for the kids which we used to had in our golden days does your ward frequently uses shortened versions of words acronyms or phrase, phrases or uh, are they searching for it yes somewhere i find that they have improved language and comprehension skill there is always a positive and a negative side so one of the positive side is this the comprehension is getting uh, better तो जैसे रोहित के स्कूल में आईसीएसई करिकुलम चलता है तो वहां पर बच्चे जो हैं वो जब लैंग्वेज का एग्जाम होता है तो बड़े तन के रहते हैं अरे लैंग्वेज का ही तो एग्जाम है साइंस के पेपर में बस उन लोगों का थोड़ा सा हालत खराब होता है लैंग्वेज के पेपर में नहीं होता है क्योंकि लैंग्वेज इम्प्रूव हो जा रहा है 
आजकल और ये सभी जो ए अब इतना इम्प्रूव हो चुका है तो व्हाट्सएप या फेसबुक या इंस्टाग्राम यूज करते करते सेंटेंस फ्रेम करना या वर्ड्स अच्छे अच्छे यूज करना ये बच्चों को आ जाता है सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द पॉजिटिव आस्पेक्ट ऑफ यूजिंग सच मीडिया अकाउंट्स सोशल मीडिया अकाउंट्स वेयर इज इंटरनेट कनेक्टेड कंप्यूटर इज लोकेटेड इन योर हाउस क्योंकि ये मुझे जानना था कि आपका जो इंटरनेट से कनेक्टिविटी वाला कंप्यूटर या लैपटॉप आपके घर के कौन से हिस्से में है क्योंकि जब मैं ऑनलाइन कोविड के टाइम में क्लासेस लेती थी तो बहुत सारे बच्चे ऐसे होते थे जो अपने पेरेंट्स को कहते थे कि हमें अकेला रूम दो और अकेले किसी कॉर्नर में मुझे पढ़ाई करनी है क्लासेस मेरे होने हैं तो मैंने जो गाइडलाइंस मैंने एक लेक्चर उस पर भी दिया था कि उस समय में कैसे कोविड के टाइम में क्लासेस करवाया जाए पेरेंट्स के लिए तो ये ऐसे बच्चे होते थे क्योंकि उन्हें अकेलापन में ज्यादा समय मिलेगा और वो अपने प्राइवेसी सेटिंग्स के हिसाब से अपने डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म्स को यूज करेंगे और बाकी जो अच्छे ग्रुप के पेरेंट्स के बच्चे होते थे मतलब जो टेक्निकली थोड़े एडवांस हैं तो वो पेरेंट्स अपने बच्चों को लैपटॉप या कंप्यूटर जो देते थे वो ड्राइंग हॉल में देते थे क्योंकि किसी भी मूवमेंट से कोई स्टडी डिस्टर्ब नहीं होती है खास करके टीन ग्रुप में तो स्टडी डिस्टर्ब नहीं होती है एट नाइन टेन तक Have your ward complained that they have went to an unsuitable site accidentally? गए भी होंगे तो मुझे बताया नहीं है If the kids are unknowingly goes to any such sites, then they are smart enough to remove it from the screen. Are they downloading unknown files? सो so, एक रिस्पोंडेंट ने कहा एज ही यूज आर मोबाइल आई चेक और ये हमारे खुद के ही सर हैं आलोक गाड़िया सर तो वो टेक्निकली थोड़े एडवांस हैं तो उन्होंने कहा कि मैं फाइल मैनेजर में जाकर के देख लेता हूँ और नो सच फाइल्स आई फाउंड टिल येट पॉजिटिवली नन ऑफ द किड्स आर डाउनलोडिंग सच अन फाइल्स क्योंकि अन फाइल्स में भी बहुत सारी चीजें आती हैं जो अनफिल्टर्ड हैं इसीलिए बहुत कंसर्न की बात बन जाती है कि इंटरनेट ने सभी कुछ अवेलेबल करवा दिया है और फिल्टरिंग प्रोसेस अभी तक नहीं हो पा रही है क्योंकि फिल्टरिंग पॉसिबल इसलिए नहीं है तो मैं जो सजेशन सभी पेरेंट्स ने ही जो दिया है वो जब आपके साथ शेयर करूंगी क्योंकि नंबर्स आ जा रहे हैं मोबाइल्स बच्चों के पास आ जा रहे हैं और वो किसी चीज से यूनिक आई से कनेक्टेड नहीं है तो आप जान ही नहीं पाएंगे कि आपके बच्चे कौन से प्लेटफॉर्म्स को कैसे किस तरह से यूज कर रहे हैं तो व्हाट शुड बी द गवर्नमेंट्स रोल इन दिस रिस्पेक्ट गिव योर ओपिनियन सो ऑल द पेरेंट्स शोन दैट अग्रेसिव रिस्पांस वो उनका कहना है कि गवर्नमेंट तो कुछ कर ही नहीं रही है उनको एक इमीडिएट इनिशिएटिव लेना चाहिए इस डिजिटल मॉनिटरिंग और मेंटरिंग के फील्ड में एविडेंट पॉइंट ऑप्टेन आफ्टर दिस स्टडी Parents are unaware of the uses of social media platforms by by their digital consumer kids. Most of the parents are not there in the friend list of their digital consumer kids on social media accounts. None of the interviewed parents are aware of CEOP and other safety measures which can prevent the online child sex. Not only sexual abuse, many kind of abuse are there. I am being in a school area, and the fights were there because they were using the. Uh, offensive language for their parents and when someone is using offensive language for parents or for sisters on such digital platforms uh, aggression will be there fights will be there gang fights will be there parents attitude towards media mediation is not up to mark which can increase the extent of such kind of menace the increased potential and speed of internet acts as a boon for it hamare zamane mein hum log jab ye internet use karna shuru kiye the to monthly ek pack bharwate the 200 ka 200 ka 300 ka aur usme bhi limited hota tha itna der ke baad fir band kar dete the ki data khatam ho jaye aur abhi itni aasani se jab internet speed bhi badh chuka hai aur aasani se available hai to is tarah ke menace hona bahut hi aasani se ho sakte hain In India, we are lagging behind e-safety measures. 
as most of the parents said that it is the alarming situation for government to to take immediate initiative to curb the rates of such uh, as most of the parents said that it is the alarming situation for government and such immediate initiative should be taken unicef is also concerned with the ever presenting nature of digital environments critical challenges faced by child protection systems worldwide and global scenario is making it more alarming to take such actions to end the menace of such online child sexual abuses, exploitation, and therefore it is an urgent need for our policymakers, government, you people, to take an initiative, how to bring awareness for the kids, for the teachers. I'm as a teacher, also I'm talking on this. I'm not much aware of the privacy things which can be used as an app and many of the parents said that it should be linked with certain aadhar card number or like that if any social media account is being generated it's very easy i was talking to one of the standard seven student and they said that yes i have a facebook account and i have this account and that account are they eligible it, are they of 18 years age? There is no checking. Who is using different kinds of accounts? What is the age group of them? What they are sharing? Many fake IDs are there. Fake things are there. Fake news are there. Fake question papers are there. So it's an alarming situation. My research area is TPAC. TPAC is technological pedagogical content knowledge. Technology is important nowadays because this TPAC is again shifting on DPAC, digital pedagogical content knowledge. So nowadays it's the requirement of the teachers to know the integration of the technology with the pedagogy. Uh, this is all for today. Think of it and how we can prevent our kids, how we can prevent our parents' community and how we can prevent our teachers' community from such things. And that's all from, from Well, thank you. Thank you, Shweta. You uh, touched upon something so very critical for us, not just for the present generation. In fact, it brings a lot of repercussions of our actions as a parent. Uh, I am a parent to a kid of 11 years old. Two, two months ago, um, uh, two months ago, my 11 year kid was already on uh, chat GPT. Okay. Now, I absolutely had no idea how to use chat GPT, but he has already used chat GPT. And for what he has used chat GPT, I mean, uh, mind you, he's 11 years old. Okay. Now, he has used chat GPT for something very constructive. I was happy about it. But where did... I mean, he says, uh, Shweta, can you stop sharing uh, from your yeah. account? Okay. Yeah. Now, what uh, I was worried a little is good that he is used for something good. But like you mentioned in the initial uh, uh, presentation, monitoring and mentoring. This is a very important uh, learning not about the parent, I mean, not about the teachers, but as a parent, something so very critical. Thank you very much that you touched upon. And as a format, we open this uh, forum for questions. My question, uh, I would want to ask uh, first question, a uh, few questions to you. Hey, look, see, as a parent, okay, I mean, when I'm looking at a parent of these teenagers, either they are in their late uh, 30s or early 40s. Now, this addiction to social media you have given a good picture questionnaire about social media and its impact on kids but these uh, kids are addicted to social media but it is their parents who actually are addicted my observation is that these parents are spending their time so much on reels shots and there is a psychological reason why they are on reels and shots 
I did a little study of my own. Uh, I am not a PhD scholar, but I wanted to try to understand why. So I found out that these this parent generation, late 30s, early 40s, they're on reels and shots because of their psychological issues, their loneliness, their all the blockages of their mental blockages that they had during their childhood and they are not able to come. Now, I asked my uh, son's uh, teacher, ma'am, uh, do you have a account, Snapchat, Instagram, and how much time do you spend? I mean, good that she's a very friendly uh, teacher. I mean, she did not take it offensive. Okay, she said, hey, you know what? You actually asked a good question because quite a lot of my colleagues are also on this. What do you have to say? Forget the pedagogy of uh, the kids. But can you touch a little upon uh, the parent generation now at 41? I at times uh, have seen a lot of my friends and uh, their wives on these shots, Instagram reels. And they, it goes on and on and on, unlimited. And they do not know what they are watching. That's on that and their impact, madam. Sir, there is one term, FOMO. Have you heard? Huh. Fear yeah, of yeah. Feeling, fear of missing out. Huh. We add a status. And we try to see who has seen my status. First <laughs> yes. Because we are being appreciated by the people surrounding us. Our husband, right. sorry, our in-laws or our kids. Right. For not only for female, but also for males. Right. So, and this is fear of missing out. And second thing, these Chinese products, it started with TikTok. Mm. And with the use of such uh, effective screens and all that, you yourself is uh, as beautiful as Ashwarya Rai or uh, as smart and handsome like Amitabh Bachchan. So, you don't to a hero or a site or location and you have made your reels. So, you will feel a feeling of happiness in yourself that you are so beautiful. And you have danced and you have facial expressions. So, the things that you had to do for 10-20 years studio or a good place for you, it was not necessary. So, these digital platforms in ke jo effective screens hain aur jo applications hain unke aapko kya karti hain ek hero ke roop mein aapne apne hi duniya mein ek apna hero ban gaye hain aapko baaki duniya se matlab nahi hai dusri baat hoti hai fomo aur ye hota hai ek load digital load carry kar rahe hain hum sabhi kitne bhi main inse keh rahi thi here is one sankat mochan mandir in mm -hmm. so once you okay. visit Varanasi, you must come over here. So, we have a mobile summit. And 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 we have a mobile summit. So, we have a mobile summit. And we have a mobile summit. And we have a mobile summit. And we have a real feel. And we have a mobile summit. 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 And we have a mobile so, you switch this screen, you switch on this screen, you switch on this screen, you switch on this screen, you have a number of oh, desktop, a number of screens. So, we have a lot of accessibility in the digital platforms or this screen. So, we don't want to go out of this screen. And this world is very good. We think that when we think about our children, so, when I am grooming a teacher as a B.A.D. student, we have a student or a M.A.D. student, I say that that it is a simulation, that you can change your expressions so quickly. Because the child is the generation of reels, which after 30 seconds, if you don't see it effectively, then it has swiped you. So, the teacher will not swipe your mind as a parent, you will swipe your mind after 30 seconds. As a parent, you will also swipe your mind after 30 seconds. Agar, just, to just a small addition. See, Manish has uh, raised a very important uh, question on chat. Manish, would you want to come on air and ask that? It's something very important. Yes. Manish? Hello, Manish. Uh, hi. Actually, I'm not sure whether my mic is working or not. I'm, I'm ah, not ah, working. Ah, ah, ah. Both are so sal. Both are so. Uh, so, ke baad aapka awa please. Aage badi. 
so actually yes this uh, uh, the problems are known actually right i mean uh, almost uh, most of the people are aware of the problem but what are the solutions actually i would love to hear exactly. about the solutions so if you can uh, very good uh, question light on the uh, solutions सोल्यूशंस आर जस्ट अ सेकेंड सोल्यूशंस यही है कि आपको एज अ एंटरप्रीन्योर मैं प्रॉब्लम लेकर इसीलिए आई हूँ कि आप या तो इस तरह के अवेयरनेस प्रोग्राम्स क्रिएट करें एप्स डेवलप करें या फिर वहाँ बहुत सारे पेरेंट्स ने मुझे सजेशन दिया था कि मैम इज इट पॉसिबल टू कनेक्ट दीज सोशल मीडिया अकाउंट्स विद सच यूनिक आई डीज बाई विच वी कैन हैव अ कंट्रोल ओवर आर किड्स हाँ यू आई डी यूनिक आई डीज के थ्रू लिंक कर दें हम तो इस तरह से सिचुएशन कंट्रोल में आ सकती है पर उसके लिए हमारे गवर्नमेंट को इनिशिएटिव लेना पड़ेगा और हम जो भी प्लेटफॉर्म्स यूज कर रहे हैं बेसिकली वो इंडिया गवर्नड नहीं है If so you don't don't mind, if you yes, don't yes, mind, Ajiji, can I add value? Ajiji, I yes. wanted to come to you. I wanted to ask uh, you only to add something over here if you can. Yeah. See. first let us understand we are only finding faults not realizing the reality in life to give you an example sagar you have 10000 rupees in your bank can you give me 1 lakh no similarly the feel good factor in the psychological bank balance of the children is low because they are only made to feel bad either at home or at school when your feel good factor is, is so low the chemistry in you is destroyed there are only four positive chemicals in us d o s e you have heard this word d o s e dopamine, dopamine. Oxytocin, oxytocin serotonin and endorphins all these four are missing and therefore i crave where will i get positive things and in social media if whenever i'm feeling low i say hi and i get 10 highs and i feel hi so please understand my dear friends we are only finding fault with government what can government do i asked one jain lady if i give non veg to your child will he take no he will not take why if you can do that why you can't do this because you have not invested your time energy attention resource there are four human currencies which need to be spent we are not doing it Yes, sir. You are doing physical exercise. Uh, as I am a biology student also, so when you are doing any kind of physical exercise, whether is it running or cycling or uh, walking, <clears throat> these four hormones are secreted. No, 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 no. Physical myself... exercise. Physical exercise only endorphins are released. Serotonin is achievement. Dopamine is when feel good factor. Oxytocin <laughs> is when my parents show me love. Yeah, parents are not having time right now. Ah, so where is the problem? Yes. They are themselves giving them. That is a problem. Why are we blaming the problem. government? Why are we blaming when marks, money, materials have become bigger than motivation, mentoring, monitoring? How can you expect the the plant is here and watering here? Uh, Ajit ji, I want to I want to just interfere here. I will come back to what Manish actually asked. Hey, yes, I understand all this is a problem. Now you want parents to give time. Now the situation is so much okay. I am just talking very practical, okay, and not the ideal situation. अभी दोनों को काम करना ही है, okay. अभी जिंदगी चलाना है, दोनों को काम करना ही पड़ रहा है. So that availability of time, what my parents had to me today, I do not have with my parents. So with this practical situation. why i mean i am expecting Agar, some solutions sagar please understand you will eat you will dress there you don't complain so mm -hmm. let's be very clear existential approach to life is whatever is more vital manomaya kosha we have to find a time 15 i would say 21 minutes why 21 minutes i'll tell you punch everything in life is punch प्र पंचा प्र इज बिगिनिंग प्र पंचा पंच धातु पंच इंद्रिया पंच कर्म इंद्रिया देन नेक्स्ट इज सेवन सप्त ऋषि सप्तपदी ऑल दिस थिंग्स नव रसा नव ग्रह एड ऑल दिस ट्वेंटी वन सेवन इयर्स फिजिकली योर टूथ मैच यूर्स फॉल्स डाउन थर्टीन फोर्टीन मल्टीपल ऑफ सेवन यू केमिकल यू आर केमिकली हाईजैक्ट ट्वेंटी वन योर माइंड डेवलप्स अनलेस यू नो हाउ द ह्यूमन डेवलपमेंट टेक्स प्लेस 
we are not able to furnish and nourish the mind of the child and that is the mm -hmm. problem. Got it? Absolutely. That is all fine. Why I am telling you, Sagar, I am working with seven children now. So and all see, of them have changed. See, theoretically, see, you are working with children. Okay, my question here was straight away dealing with children ke bap or ma. That is my generation who are, I mean, this whole talk started with digital monitoring and mentoring. First of all, why should I be monitoring and mentoring? The question is, if I have got time and I have got, I, I would rather I have got time. But now, how do I actually go spend time Simple. with my kids? Simple. Values, if I told you, when I ask the Jain boy and the mother, he will never touch non-vegetarian because it is the ingrained belief and values. We need to work on these two things. When the beliefs and the values are worked upon, you create a version which is very powerful. Beliefs are making people kill each other. Beliefs are so powerful. I'll give an example. How I do, I'll tell you. I study the child's behavior. What's the meaning of behavior? What you be with what thought you have in mind uh, results into behavior. That is my analysis. What's the meaning of analysis? That which comes out of your anus, urine and stools when you go to hospital, they do lysis, they break it. So I break the behavior of the students, work on their thinking and thought, develop their uh, values and beliefs and they change. Are you getting the picture? Yeah, one minute. I would want to bring uh, Manish back online. Uh, Manish, uh, your daughter uh, is still homeschooled, right? Kushagri is homeschooled. Uh, she's an online school, yes. Yeah, so now my son goes to a normal school. Now, Manish, you are a startup guy. Now, Kushagri is homeschooled. Now, what is the big difference between her and other kids? And what, as a parent, you are actually doing different to Kushagri? Is she digitally, uh, how much digitally intoxicated she is? So, um, <clears throat> actually, that... Uh... Uh, uh, since that uh, uh, teaching is online, so of course, right, uh, most of the time actually during the classes and uh, of course their assignments and all this one, their research and all this one, they are uh, on the computer. They use that uh, laptop most of the time, but uh, it is like this one that uh, that. Uh, they have been wired in such a way or they have been explained in such a way that they don't put their time on these uh, Facebook, Instagram or all those things and watching and all this thing, right? So mm, that's what I have uh, groomed them, you can say this one, right? Till now. No, but as a, as a parent, now you said that she is digitally always there. But now as a parent, oh. where do you see, do you see a threat? Or do you see that? How? Uh, how? What? What? Are, what are your observations about her? Uh, yeah. So, so the threat is there. Okay. So it is like this one. Uh, I I cannot put a shield actually, right? Because threat yes. is there, and they will be exposed actually, right? I cannot make them no zero technology, right? So the mm -hmm. solution is this one, right? What I can do at most that like I can explain them that what is the outcomes for this one that when they are exposed to the threat, they should be aware of this one, what should be the boundary. I mean, if they are on the Facebook also, right, whom they should call, whom they should not call, when they should uh, see that red flag and all this one, right? If I can impart that knowledge, actually. Do you regulate Do you regulate yeah. that or are you bringing a consciousness in her? Uh, she is around 13, 14 years now. Manish, what's her age? Yes, she is 14 years. Yeah, 14 years. So she is in that uh, tender teenage. So do you regulate? Do you uh, dictate? What do you do, Manish? I can give you an analogy, actually, right? Let's say this one. When I walk on the road, actually, right? I cannot walk on the road. First, I will say this one. I will remove all the pebbles. I will remove all the thorns and all this thing, right? I cannot do this thing, right? So what's the best? But I, I have to walk on the road, right? So what, what's the best way? I Best way is this one. I have to put slippers. I have to put shoes, right? If I walk on the road barefoot, actually, of course, I will get hurt. So the my 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 agenda is this one only, right? That I should uh, make them 
wear slippers when they walk on the internet this is what i also want to tell you see same thing because threat is always there but this thing is always helping in the process of teaching and learning nowadays we can't take away the mobile we can't take away the um, tabs as said by user also that uh, they are 11 years old age is using chat gpt so i had another research at kindre vidyale dlw varanasi so in that most of the students said the learning has become easy because of the use of chat gpt or another such ai tools so but the thing is the things curated to the kids is unfiltered filtering is not done Ma'am, I have a couple of things to ask. Yes, yes, go ahead, Amar Ji. Uh, good evening, my name is Amar Randall, ma'am. Uh, I think so, you put forward some very valuable uh, knowledge today to us. I just want to know, because I'm not a tech savvy person, and I have two grandchildren, the addiction to mobiles oh. is by and large more than required. Parents are busy with their iPads and mobiles. Is alarming uh, to set them right today. I think so. You need to share something how they can be. Uh, this can be avoided. Number one, and uh, I would like to know more uh, on the ISP profile that you told and the CEOP. Yes, CEOP and, e e and the e safety, e safety measures. The three three important factors. Uh, how we could. Uh, uh, Put them to use uh, to make uh, children safe from using uh, unknown platforms. And then we have an argument uh, in the family that you did this, you did that, and this happened because of you. Uh, this is a common cause. This is a common cause. You not so the internet ye... service providers, ISP stands for internet service providers. They themselves, like if you are using Wi-Fi or any such things, how you can uh, cut short the level of or up uska Wi-Fi ka rate kaise kam kar sakte hain, ghante kaise kam kar sakte hain. To jab wo available hi nahi rahega, utne der tak internet available nahi rahega, to bache obviously aapka mobile ghar mein chhod karke bahar niklenge khelne ke liye. तो ये समस्या वो नहीं है समस्या नहीं आपकी बात सही है समस्या है हमारे यहाँ हर घर में मोबाइल और इंटरनेट सर्विस 24 ओवर है नहीं वही आईएसपी के बारे में लोग बात ही नहीं करते हैं आईएसपी है इंटरनेट सर्विस प्रोवाइडर जो है आईएसपी में जिससे भी आप जिनका भी वाईफाई यूज करते हैं आप उनसे बात करके आप कर सकते हैं कि आप जितने आर्स ऑफिस में रह रहे हैं तो उतने देर तक इंटरनेट नहीं प्रोवाइड किया जाए या एक टाइम स्लॉट फिक्स किया जाए उतने देर तक इंटरनेट की प्रोविजन रहे घर में या फिर मोबाइल्स में तो इस तरह की चीजें हैं सीईओपी भी उसी तरह के हैं आई थिंक आई हैव मेंशनड इट इन द पेपर माइट बी आई डू ओके ओके यू कैन शेयर दैट मैन नोइस टू दैट बट बट अक्सर आप देखा जाए तो घर में सब जो मेरी बहू है बेटा है वाइफ है पोते जब स्कूल से आते हैं तो आते से यही बोलते हैं कि खाना खाना है तो हमको इंटरनेट चालू करिए ये देखना है ये हर घर के में बच्चों का आपने आदत लगाया है मैं अपने घर में भी देखती हूँ कि बच्चा जब एक साल का होता है तो उसे खाना खिलाने के लिए ऐसे मोबाइल रखते हैं और तब उसे खाना खिलाते हैं जिम्मेदार हम ही हुए ना हमारे बच्चे जिम्मेदार नहीं हुए हैं सर इसका सॉल्यूशन ये है कि वी कैन क्रिएट अ सेपरेट हिडन ऐप ओके वही मैं कहना चाह रही हूँ कि इस ऐप पे आप बटन दबाएं और आपका जो इंटरनेट डिवाइस वो बंद हो जाए हाँ वो बात सही है वही वही बात मैं कह रही हूँ इसीलिए मैं प्रॉब्लम ले there you are trying to there you are trying to actually create another problem now right. it is like it is like drug addiction ko aap dur karne ke liye na unko drug se deprive kar rahe ho see what is drug going to do 
it actually creates the dopamine. But now if you're not giving that dopamine, that kid is going to search some other Sagar, I, I agree with you, but Sagar, so, ek level ke baad na, ek level ke baad wo frustration dhir dhir khatam ho jata hai. Thik no, hai? no, 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 it no, creates, no, 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 no Rohit, it creates no. a big, big trauma. It creates yeah, yes. a block in the mind. And psychologically, that kid is undergoing, going to undergo a different kind of depression. And yes. that That's actually so is, that actually is going to create a social menace. Now, yes. the only way how that can be created is, usko usi time me, see, I worked on this. This is where I'm able to share with so much of conviction. I My son was uh, getting a little addicted. Jab maine dekha ki, I mean, why? See, he does not have an alternate. So, uske liye kya kya? Uske liye music sikha rahe hai. Uske liye painting karwa rahe hai. Usko outdoor khelne ke liye bhej rahe hai. So, when he has got that adrenaline being addressed somewhere else he will not come over here lekin usko kya hai jab bhi 5 minute time mile appa i want to see reels i say do send 10 sit ups by the time he does 10 sit ups reels yes, ka jo khatam ha tired ho jata hai we have to give a proper alternate okay to create another app it might I, not be the solution i think sagar there is more diverse also may i interrupt I'll give you and the last call to Amarji as usual. Go ahead, Manish ji. So, that's what I uh, agree to this one. If you have a restriction, internet, you can't do it. You You can't do it. 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 You can't जो आप बता रहे हैं कि आपने किया टू मेक देम प्ले आउट रन सम म्यूजिक आर्ट्स एंड व्हाटएवर सो दिस कुड बी द थिंग फाइंड दैट व्हाट देयर इंटरेस्ट इज एंड ट्राई टू गिव दैट एनवायरमेंट दैट दे गेट जेल इनटू दिस वन एंड गेट अवे फ्रॉम यू नो मोर फ्रॉम टेक्नोलॉजी मोर फ्रॉम इंटरनेट राइट यस थैंक्स श्वेता जी नहीं ऐसा नहीं है जाता जा एक बात बता रहा हूं सर आपको आप जो बोल रहे बहुत बोलने के लिए बहुत आसान है कि बच्चों को एंगेज रखना है लेकिन माँ बाप इतने बिजी मोबाइल के अंदर हैं बच्चों का ध्यान कहाँ जा रहा है उनका घर पे घर पे सर घर पे आपके जैसे सर घर पे आपके जैसे दादा दादी आपके जैसे दादा दादी रहेंगे ना जैसे इवन आई एम लकी टू हैव माय पेरेंट्स एट होम तो पूरा एंगेज दे सर वो तो है मैं मैडम ने एक बात अच्छी कही कि कितने लोग मिस यूज कर रहे हैं उसके बारे में मैंने ध्यान से सुना कि मिस यूज का जो अगर आदत लग पड़ गई ना वो सबसे ज्यादा हानिकारक होगी बच्चों के आने वाली जनरेशन के लिए शायद उसके लिए हमको रिस्टार्ट ढूंढना है उनको किस तरीके से हम उनको ऑक्यूपाई करें and i think so save them make them better citizens thank you gentlemen with the interest of time we have got rohit who has raised his hand after rohit we'll just give another 20 30 seconds to uh, shweta ji and then as usual either ajit ji or amar ji are going to wind off uh, uh, architect supriya and dr namrata you have got anything to add because you are the only two who have not spoken okay they continue Ha, Namrata, Dr. Namrata, please go ahead. I know you want you want your daughter not to be a YouTuber, but she will be a YouTuber. No, it's nothing like she, I don't want her to be. Yeah, it's just that I just want her to, even if she becomes a YouTuber, I want her to be in a proper uh, thing. Like, mm, come here. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. You become a YouTuber, you hi, interview. Hello. You interview me, okay, when I grow my hair because your uh, mother she is can't going hear to... you just a minute. You become a YouTuber to interview me. Your mother is going to invent one hair oil by which I can grow my hair. At that time, you interview me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, architect Supriya, you've got anything oh, no. to say? Yeah. So, like you were saying, the grandparents are available at home at in couple of houses wherein uh, they can keep the grandchildren uh, engaged or uh, active. What if the grandparents are themselves addicted to television or mobiles? So what are the other options or ways 
wherein the children can be kept engaged when the parents are also busy make working. Them make them attend SIT chat every uh, Thursday. Make them a member of SIT. We'll make them active. <laughs> On the lighter note, okay, uh, Shweta, you've got any answers to that or any other uh, wise men out there have got an uh, answer to what Supriya asked? And before we go to uh, Rohit ji. Sir, uh, your basic problem behind all this is ultra-nuclear families. And another thing is uh, parents are nowadays uh, very, I share my experience. One of the parent was uh, CA and uh, that time uh, PTM was kept on Sunday. And he came with a very robust mood and said, आप लोगों को समय नहीं मिलता है क्या संडे को आप लोग पीटीएम रखते हैं मेरा ये संडे का दिन होता है सोने के लिए और मैं सीए हूं मैं इतना कमाता हूं मैं संडे को सो भी नहीं सकता क्या दिस इज द रिस्पॉन्सेज विच वी गेट एज अ टीचर ओके आई पीटी दो टीचर्स हु एक्चुअली यू वांट टू कम ऑन संडे फॉर अ पीटीएम सॉरी फॉर देम एंड इन डॉन बॉस को where he has studied and I have taught, there were clubs like bas basketball club or football clubs. So most of the students, very average, uh, below average students, they were very good players. So we need to identify the interest area of our kid. The interest right area of our kid is not the mobile. Rightly said, madam. And I'm as sure a we parent, a lot we to have to identify that interest area and we need to work on that as a teacher or as a mentor, as a parent. Right. And Thank you. And do wonders in that particular area. Very well said. Uh, Rohit, you have anything to say? Else I'll have to go to Ajit ji and Amar ji to wind off our uh, evening show. Uh, basically, a lot of, lot of things have to be done. Our lifestyles has to be changed first. A uh, lot of things has to be done from government side as well, because everything is open these days. OTT channels, you go to movie theaters, everything is everywhere, right? There's no monitoring. So uh, one thing is definitely there that we can definitely uh, put, uh, you know, what do you say, mitigate uh, our children's uh, energy to a better thing. When in there, out of touch with the schemes for some time, and even when they are not with you people, okay, they should be monitored. They should not have access to anything which can corrupt them. Okay, they should be that's, uh, that's an opinion. Ajit ji, your, uh, your last words before I move on to Amar ji. Yeah, uh, I only feel parents should become friends to their children because children open to people who become friends. They are, that is number one. Number two, not love but respect. Not love but respect. Parents and children love each other but whether the children respect the parents? Three, can I deposit in the feel-good factor of the children? These are the three things if done, then frustration to fascination is very good because children want that fascination and that at present, they're not getting at home, they're not getting at school, they're only getting with their friends on the mobile. That is the issue. So if they Thank do these you. three things, feel good, respect and friends, everything will fall into place. Thank you, Ajit ji and Shweta ji. Very well um, conducted session. Thank you all. But before we sign off, as usual, our uh, wise man in the hall, Rotarian Amar ji, your conclusive statements, please. Uh, good evening to all. A wonderful uh, session uh, shared today. I think so, uh, need of the day, I call it the need of the day. Uh, there will be plus minus for any subject that you discuss. But I agree fully with what ma'am told today, that the digitization is taking us uh, to a different world. Some are really good for us, and some for our children are not still good. And the parents need to address this very seriously because children can get trapped somewhere into a different zone. And if properly guided, uh, I think so, our children will become real heroes uh, in their lives and they will be better citizens. And parents will be more happier uh, when they do good, uh, any child for whosoever it may be. As a grandfather, I share this uh, thing that my own grandchildren are addicted to mobiles. 
sometimes I would say, argue and fight. But then the other day, I quite tell them, if you leave this, I'll get you to do this work, you come back. Okay, fine, to that extent. But we have to, as nuclear families, we are we are bound to go with this. Parents, if I'm not there, my daughter-in-law will be there, my son will be there. And there are these iPads, modern gadgets are taking our lives uh, to a different destination. I think so. We should give quality time to our children, whatever may be our uh, commitments to our activities, business, service. We all need to give quality time for children so that they understand us better and we give them some good uh, ethics of life and what is good for them. That is the best thing I could say for today's talk. I Thank feel you. the session was so less in time. I think so. We should have one more session, a couple of more sessions. And this reach should go to many children. I think it's a very knowledgeable uh, talk today that is being held in the need of the hour. Because uh, digitally today, social media, digitization is taking us to a different by strong AI. I don't know. I'm not a tech savvy person. But as I read, I don't know where my mind will blow off. So I'm just uh, thanking God that people like you uh, will take uh, a leap to bring the answers into a good form. I pray to God that all of you uh, lead Thank it. Thank you, sir. Lead for a friend. SIT is a platform, uh, I say always, I'm so proud of it. Wherever I go or I talk, it's a platform that always shares good knowledge, good thoughts, good ideas, and good people come to talk here. I'm so happy today that a wonderful personality came and gave her thoughts. Ma'am, thank you so much for joining us today. A pleasure listening to you, uh, though I'm in Hyderabad, but I never miss any program on SID. So I joined my happiness uh, to be with all of you and learn something from you, which I'll definitely share with my children and make and make other children also understand as I serve empowered children like Ajit Si, uh, make them better citizens of this country. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you sir, very thank much. Bye-bye. Thank you, Shri okay, nice. I'm very stopping stimulating. the recording. Thank you all. all are welcome to Varanasi. Please uh, visit us. Yeah, ma'am.